Hey, good morning, Church on the Ridge. It's Thursday, and I told you that yesterday I was going to get to babysit my eight-month-old grandson, Amos, and I did. I I, uh, I got him to sleep. I changed his diaper. I gave him back alive, and uh, you know what? That was a success, successful uh, experience for me. It was absolutely a delight. Um, a lot of people uh, want to put people in certain categories. You know, men don't watch babies. You know, only women do that. Or certain ethnic groups can't do this. Only this, you know, all this kind of stuff. And Jesus just blew this thing out of the water. Uh, when he came to earth, he set a new standard. He said, guys, you're doing it all wrong. Let me show you how to do it. And in Galatians, it says that all of us come to faith in Christ the same way. We come to him. It's not because of your sex, not because of your color, not because of your where you're born, your your race, any of that stuff. That's called prejudice. And for many years, the church has shown prejudice. It's unfortunate, but uh, it's certainly not something that God would do, and certainly not something that God uh, desires for us. He says we're all one in Christ Jesus. There's neither slave nor free, uh, male nor female. Jew nor Gentile, but we are all one in Christ Jesus. And so this whole idea that somehow I'm better than you because I'm a man or I don't do this kind of work because I'm a man or you don't do this kind of work because you're a woman or you don't do this because of what, whatever is absolutely wrong. Now, some people have greater abilities. I can promise you right now, my wife has greater abilities at raising children and taking care of babies than I do. Uh, but that is not the same thing as us being equal and one in Christ Jesus. And for me to somehow marginalize people, put anybody down, uh, uh, relegate them to something less than is wrong. Our church should be a church that is open. You should be a person who's open and recognizing that every single person that you meet is a product of the king of the universe. And there is no uh, greater person or lesser person. We have different abilities, of course, but no person is worth more or less more because of those abilities, because we all come to faith through Christ Jesus. He did it all. We did nothing. So you may have great abilities and think you're something. You know, I'm sorry to tell you that in Christ Jesus, uh, we're, we're all as good as you are. And God designed it that way. And let's treat each other the way God has treated us. I'm so thankful he didn't accept me or receive me because of my abilities, my skin color, or some other things. I'm not a Jew. And, and uh, that was his first uh, group of people that he's decided to do this experiment with. It's not really an experiment, but uh, thank you, Molly. He decided to do this project with to show us really how to live. So let me pray for you today before Molly messes us up. Father, thank you. God, for grace, thank you for the oneness in Christ. I pray that there would be nobody, God, at Church on the Ridge that would show any form of prejudice or neglect of certain people types, but Lord, we would embrace them and recognize that we are one in Jesus. Amen. Hey, I love you, Church on the Ridge. Let's go and love people today, no matter who they are and uh, what their capabilities are, all right, in Jesus. Have a great day.